Rockdale County deputies responded to a um, shooting. It was at the Lake St. James apartment complex in Conyers. Um, uh, upon deputies' arrival, um, they observed the male, black male, lying on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound. Yeah, the hip hop community is in shock this morning as a morning artist who many say had a bright future. Say Jones went to his ex-girlfriend's apartment in Conyers early Sunday morning and forced his way in. That's where he found his ex and Orr asleep in a bed. After allegedly punching her in the face and fighting with Orr, Warren say Jones pulled a gun, shot Orr in the chest, and then left the apartment complex seven minutes later. A good brother who loved and respected his family. That's how many are remembering Atlanta rapper Trouble, his real name, Morel Orr. Family, friends, and fans gathering today to say a final goodbye. I ain't get to tell my boy thank you. So, I won't tell Trouble thank you. He always supported me. <laughs> Rockdale deputies hauled to Michael Jones to jail. The 33-year-old Atlanta man is accused of killing rapper Trouble, whose real name was Mariel Orr. On June 5, 2022, Mariel Samonte Orr, who was professionally known as the Atlanta rapper Trouble, was seen partying in an Instagram video posted by one of his friends. The video showed Trouble and his friends enjoying themselves in what appeared to be a celebratory gathering, but they were unaware of the tragedy that was about to take place. On the night of the incident, Trouble had reportedly visited his friend Royce at her apartment and was sleeping in her bed before the shooting took place. According to reports, he had been napping when a man allegedly forced his way into her apartment and had repeatedly punched her in the face. Then, he began a physical fight with Trouble before he eventually shot him in the chest. The entire altercation only lasted about seven minutes. They say the man charged with murder to Michael Jones and his girlfriend of three years broke up about a week ago. The woman told deputies that she and Jones previously lived together, but that he left after she says he hit her during an argument. In the warrants, investigators say Jones went to his ex-girlfriend's apartment in Conyers early Sunday morning and forced his way in. That's where he found his ex and Orr asleep in a bed. After allegedly punching her in the face and fighting with Orr, warrants say Jones pulled a gun, shot Orr in the chest, and then left the apartment complex seven minutes later. Shortly after the shooting, the Rockdale Sheriff's Office received a call to 911 from Royce, indicating that there was a disturbance at her apartment. In response to the call, deputy sheriffs were dispatched to the location and arrived on the scene shortly after that. Upon arrival, the deputies found Rissa at her apartment with visible injuries on her face, which suggested that she had been struck multiple times. The injuries were consistent with physical assault. The deputies also found a neighbor performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, on trouble as he was lying on the floor of the apartment with a gunshot wound to his chest. The deputies took charge of the situation and ensured that it remained under their control while waiting for the paramedic team. When the paramedics arrived, they took him to the Rockdale County Piedmont Hospital where he was supposed to be treated. Unfortunately, Despite their best efforts, trouble had already passed as he had suffered a very fatal injury to the chest and had lost a large amount of blood. The resuscitation team of the hospital were left with no chance of saving him. Not too long after, 33-year-old Jamichael Jones was identified as the one responsible for the incident. He was also a rapper, by trouble, and was Royce's ex-boyfriend Jones allegedly entered the apartment with two other unidentified suspects and an altercation broke out, which ultimately led to trouble being shot. Following that, Rissa explained to the police officers that she ended her three-year relationship with Jamichael Jones approximately five days before the incident and clarified that she had initiated the breakup because Jones did not have a job, was not contributing to their finances, and had hit her with an open palm during an argument. According to her, they used to live together in a shared accommodation, but had ended that arrangement when they broke up. She alleged the day they broke up, 
was the last time she saw her ex-boyfriend before the night he broke into the house to find her and trouble sleeping in bed together. However, some sources say that Riza had reportedly told Jones that she was out of town and that he could come and pick up his stuff before she returned from her trip. Following that, Royce also made a post on social media saying that she didn't have anything to prove to anybody and that she had a heart of gold. She also said that the incident affected her mental health due to the trauma that she suffered. On June 7, 2022, the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office made public a report that Jamichael Jones had been taken into custody by law enforcement in Clayton County around 1 a.m. that morning. However, unlike previous reports, it was revealed that Jones did not put up any resistance and turned himself in to the authorities. This was very unusual because Jones had been on the run since the time of the incident and police deputies were on the lookout for him. They had paid visits to the places where Jones was reported to frequently visit with the hopes of finding and apprehending him. But that had been to no avail as Jones had no intentions of visiting those places. However, reports indicate that Jones was persuaded to surrender by his mother, who had placed the call through to him when police deputies had visited her. His mother was a huge resource in, in helping us um, apprehend him. The deputies permitted Jones to pick a time and place for his arrest, and he chose to be arrested in the early hours of the morning at a hospital in Clayton County. Well, deputies, they're really crediting Jamichael Jones's mother for the successful arrest of the man accused of the Atlanta rapper trouble. Now, take a look at your screen. This is video. We had a crew there the moment after Jamichael Jones was taken into custody by Rockdale authorities. Now, we do know that he was taken into custody and arrested at a hospital, which was a location that a deputies allow that deputies allowed Jamichael Jones to select the sheriff's deputies. They say that his mother allowed them to talk to Jamichael Jones on the phone, and that's when they were able to convince the suspect to turn himself in. Just as planned, Jones showed up at the hospital early on Tuesday, the 7th of June, 2022, in a green hoodie that he wore over his head. He was successfully apprehended without any incident and appeared in court where he was charged for the hit and other charges like aggravated assault, battery, and home invasion in the first degree. During his trial, Jamichael Jones turned down the opportunity to read his warrants and was denied bond on the basis of threat to witnesses. In addition to that, he was mandated to pay a bond of 10000 for his battery charge after the judge confirmed that he was not on probation. All of your charges are felonies except for the battery penalty bonds, which is misdemeanor. Would you like your warrants read? No. Appears you are not currently on probation or parole, so you're entitled to bond on the battery. The bond will be set in amount of $10,000. At the time of his passing in 2022, Trouble had an estimated net worth of $2 million, which he had amassed through various endorsement deals and record sales. His annual income was reported to be $200,000, a testament to his success in the industry. The musician was also known by other nicknames, including Scoob, Trouble DTE, and Big Trouble, which were a testament to his larger-than-life personality. He was a highly influential musician in Atlanta and beyond, and had collaborated with some of the biggest names in the music industry, including Drake, The Weeknd, Young Thug, Gucci Mane, and 2 Chainz. This gained him a significant amount of recognition and praise. Thankfully, Trouble left a legacy before he passed and has left behind his two kids, mother, brother, aunt, as well as other family members and friends who loved and respected him. When he passed in 2022, they paid their last respects to him in a moving tribute. Many fans also mourned his loss, taking to social media to express their sadness and shared their memories of the musician. To transform himself to the rapper Trouble who belong to the world. He loved them, and they love him. Trouble's younger brother, Huncho, in tears, in grief, overwhelmed at the outpouring of support from so many 
who wanted to be here with him and his family. Trouble had reportedly been dating famous model Alexis Skye before his passing. Alexis paid tribute to Trouble by posting the last picture they took together, saying he didn't deserve to die. The news of his passing sent shockwaves through the Atlanta music community, and many of his peers, including Lil Boosie, Michael Made It, and Lil Duval, took to social media to pay tribute to the talented rapper. Trouble had left a lasting impact on the music industry, and his legacy would live on through his music and the memories he had left behind. His record label, Def Jam, reportedly shared on Instagram that they have extended their condolences to the children, loved ones, and fans of Trouble after learning of his passing. They stated that he was a genuine advocate for his town and a source of motivation for the neighborhood that he so passionately represented. Trouble became famous as a result of his music, which is known for depicting the harsh realities of living in Atlanta. He rose to prominence at the age of 14, thanks to the success of his track, Come Through, Ain't My Fault, and Bring It Back. In 2017, Trouble signed a recording agreement with Mike Will Made It, Ear Drummer Records, and Interscope Records, both of which are owned by Mike Will Made It himself. This partnership marked a significant milestone in Trouble's career, as he gained access to resources and expertise that would help him further develop his sound and reach a wider audience. Rest in peace, Trouble. Everybody know how he kicked. He was a real one. He what they call a real one. He ain't going nowhere. His memory ain't going nowhere. We're going to make sure of that. 